so good. Riggio's is the best pizza. You really think so? Mm. Luke is better than the thin crust they do over at Basilico? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know. So, it tastes as you tell me what you think. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you already got a mouthful. <laughs> you good, you bitch. Hey, live be nice. Maybe you're gluten free. Listen. You just gotta stay put a little while, honey, till we figure out if you gave Sonny the right address to find Michael and Morgan. Sorry. Hey. Yeah. No, I didn't hear any guns go off. Hopefully that means that everyone's still alive. Sonny, are you okay? Did you f did you find them? Yeah, I'm okay, but there's no sign of Morgan or Michael. This place is empty. Son of a bitch sent us to the wrong address. Probably didn't want to upset his bosses. Okay, Olivia. You know what you have to do. I'm on it. <laughs> now, I'm thinking that maybe it wasn't such a hot idea to lie to Sonny about the location of his two sons. Special guest, hear me? Oh, loud and clear. Take his gag off. Got it. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell that crazy broad to put down the gun. Hey, you might want to show a little respect to that crazy broad considering she's armed. I warned you. I said nobody hurts the people I care about. I gave you a chance. And even after you almost blew those two beautiful ladies away, you lied to me! So now, Olivia is gonna have to take out your other kneecap. The broad's not gonna shoot anything. <laughs> I'm wrong again, Peg Leg. My son's a cop. He takes me to the shooting range all the time. I'm pretty good, if I do say so myself. So I'll definitely hit something, even if it ain't your knee. So you, uh, step aside, Connie. This might get a little messy. Okay, party's over, baby. Say your prayers. You know, you probably already know this. You don't so much pull the trigger as you just really kind of, you just kind of like squeeze it. Okay, Liv, do we have to do this? I mean, it's it's very messy. I know, I know. Sorry about the rug. Now, deep breath. Deep breath, baby. This is gonna hurt. Okay, okay. The Krithos kid is at 49 Reed Street, apartment 16A in the city, with some broad named Ava. She's living with her daughter. You know what? You did the right thing there, Gimpy. Giving Sonny the right address to find Michael and Morgan, and I am sure when you talk about that with your superiors, they'll understand that you were just doing what you had to do. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Had to be said. Yeah. So, cuz, what are we gonna do with this meatball now? Maybe we should start with the girlfriend, huh? Just like a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Back off! Back off! Hey guys, this is my dad. I don't know if I mentioned he's uh, very protective over his children. Morgan. Hey. I'm paying. My son's debt is 50000 Now, you can count the money, or you can just trust Mr. Corinthos. I trust Mr. Corinthos. Take it and go. No, 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 Dad. I just, I own 40. I already gave him 10. OK, you keep 10, 10 grand for your trouble. And you tell your employer, I'm sure my sons are, you know, like he said, I'm a very protective father. If you or whoever you work for come after my family again, you're a dead man! Okay, do me a favor. Get this trash out. Get him a taxi, because I'm, I'm sure it's pretty dangerous out in this neighborhood. Let's go. Okay, thanks, baby. I'll see you real soon. Well, 
That was my son. Oh, what did he say? He said he's a little busy right now, but he's going to send two very nice uniformed officers over here to take you away to the pokey. Very sweet. Right. So what do you say we finish our uh, pizza outside your oh. office? The atmosphere is so much nicer out there. Very good idea. Okay. Oh, don't get up. We'll get the door. <laughs> You know what, we Falcon Arrow girls are a pretty good team. <laughs> you deserve a slice. <laughs> mm. I want to hear about what happened. These guys, they From came Michael. Here. Those two worked Morgan over pretty good before I got here. They came back to finish the job. Do you see the position you put your brother in? To have to fight to defend you? Yeah, Dad, it's not that I don't appreciate the save, but I, I mean, I was gonna handle it. All right, you know what? It doesn't matter. You're, you're, you're safe. I'm gonna take you home. Let's go. Whoa, wait, what, what do you mean home? I'm taking you back to Port Charles. Okay, what about Kiki? Ugh. Oh, boy, I wish Aunt Teresa could see you right now. <laughs> Mama Mary, you'd be disapproving as usual. Yeah. Oh, I remember all those lectures she used to give us about staying away from those bad men. How those made men were nothing but dirt. We should have nothing to do with them. And there you are, just waving your gun around in his face. You could have had a really good career in the mob, you know that. What can I say? Maybe I got in the wrong line of work. <laughs> I can't believe you just showed up here. I don't know. You know, honey, I'll kid you aside. The cops are going to have that unidexter out of your office like any minute, so you don't have to be afraid of it. No, I'm not afraid of that. It's... Ugh, it's just all these efforts I make to keep Sonny out of my life. I just get dragged right back in. Kiki, is that your nickname? It's uh, it's short for Catherine. Oh, um, well, I'm more interested in your last name, Jerome, because there used to be a, a family back in the 80s, very powerful crime family. Yeah, no kidding. And my son almost, you know, gets his kneecaps busted in your apartment. Dad, yeah, Dad, there's no way that she's part of that. I'm Jerome. talking to Miss Jerome. You ever heard of uh, Julian Jerome? His sister was Olivia. You related in any way? Not at all. So it's just a coincidence? Do you know how many Jeromes there are in Manhattan alone? What do you want me to go door to door asking each one of them if they're related to uh, monsters? Uh, Kiki, I think my dad's just. Well, see, the thing, the thing is, Mr. Jerome, is my, my son almost got beaten up pretty bad here in your house. <gasps> Yeah, but Dad, you got the wrong idea, okay? She's just trying to help me out. Dad knows that Kiki encouraged you to gamble with money you didn't have. Even if she didn't set you up, she did nothing to stop you from falling. Wow, way to have my back, bro. Well, it doesn't matter, because whatever you, you had or think you have with Mr. Jerome, it's over. Oh, and that's your decision now? Morgan, let's go. Okay, Dad, no, all right? I can make my own choices. I'm an adult. I'm going to stay here with Kiki. So you're contradicting your father? <sighs> Dad, listen, I, I, I appreciate you bailing me out. Seriously, I'm going to pay you back the money. It's not about money. Morgan, it's about respect. You know that. I know, but I can make my own decisions. Well, your own decisions almost got you killed. You know what I mean? You want to you wanna act like an adult? Then I'll treat you like an adult. Until then, we're going. You know, I really think this has been it's handled, not, though. No, it's not a request. Hey. I should, should probably just go with him. You know, just to keep the peace. Hey, I'll see you soon. Better. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. 